Hey everyone, Shipper 1000 here. We're out on the boat, and the boat is running awesomely crap. <laughs> it's running all right wide open, but it it's just, it's cutting out. That's worse than a miss. That means the whole engine's cutting out, <laughs> both <laughs> cylinders. But when we started it, it was running on one cylinder and I had to rev it up neutral, get it blow out its throat. And, but uh, yeah, it's about time to rebuild that carburetor, I think. Probably, I'd like to rebuild the whole thing, but I ain't doing that. If I'm gonna spend money on something, I'm going, I wanna get a 25 horse, a monk. With an electric start and yeah, make life easier. power tilt, so that way I don't have to. Because we've just gotten some shallow water over there. Because the, the the water changes right back here on this lake. Not the water, really. The 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 lily pads and stuff. And where we usually come into this area, I'll show you here in a minute. Um, got it was real shallow. They do a pretty good job of clearing it out, though. So I got some seaweeds and had to clean the prop off, come around another way. But this is pretty cool. This is what I'm thinking right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get my glasses on so I can see what you're seeing somewhat. The big mound there, I don't know <coughs> if it's a midden mound or, or what, but... Pretty nice back in here. Monkey said, yeah, just hang your hammock over there. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you, Monk? Yeah. Because I shut the engine off and we just drifted, you know, just pulled in here. And she was like, you all right? I'm like, yeah, why? She said, just checking. I, I said, you know what I'm thinking, don't you? She's like, yep. Put your hammock right over there. <laughs> There's a road here. Anybody bother you? No, maybe not. I don't know. I don't think so. Comes another boat. Just had a pontoon come past. Followed us in here. Yeah, this thing's running bad on low speed. On like an idle, just off an idle. It's just running real rough. But I don't know. Yeah, I'll have to. We'll have to check this out sometime, hon. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Monkey said it would have been a good day to be on the boat. I went in, got dressed. I said, <laughs> I said I'm getting dressed. She said, you are. Where are you going? I said, I'm going on the boat. <laughs> yeah, it was nice out today. Yeah, it's very really nice. It's about 80, but it's a nice 80. Yeah. It's not a scorching 80. No. So, usually when it's 80 degrees, it's, as you can see, we got the top down. We didn't even put the top up because we didn't really need it. No. The sun's not that bad, and plus when we're, we're not going to be out long. We just wanted to come out and well, check the boat out. The, car, the carburetor was flooding on it. The last time we went to take it out a couple weeks ago, <laughs> when I hit the primer bulb, gas was running out of the, uh, out of the carburetor. So that was telling me the float's sticking. So I sprayed it down with some carburetor cleaner the other day and let it soak. I didn't take the carburetor off. I just sprayed it down. There's a little hole you can spray it into. And I don't know. It, sometimes that makes it worse, guys, when you do that because it cleans out the dirt from one place and then clogs it up in another, you know. So it, it just needs to be taken off and cleaned up real good. I'm still on the hunt for a 25 Evinrude. Evinrude Johnson, you know, something like that. Yamaha would be all right. Uh, I don't want a Merc Cruiser. I don't want a Mercury, but Yamaha, Johnson, Evan Rude, something like that. So anyway, that's what we're doing. We're just kind of hanging out here. Had to get Bruno. He was going bat shit crazy to get out here. So he heard boat and he just started going nuts, didn't he? Oh yeah. And I said it low so he wouldn't hear me, but he heard it. Oh, when yeah. I told her I was going on the exactly boat, that. he just started going crazy. He loves the boat. Yeah. He likes jumping the wake, don't he? Oh. 
he sees another boat coming in the other direction he knows we'll jump their wake and he just gets all excited and gets ready and pins his ears back <laughs> he's a true boy <laughs> yeah jump it again dad yeah so i got a little bit of water here yeah yeah coming up in three right there i see it i see where it's coming from don't have much back here just a tiny bit there but it's a boat it's going to get wet especially a 53 year old boat huh mama yeah well the engine's a 63. it's old and we've used the heck out of it oh we've run the hell out of this it's it's all it's the only time we're idling is when we're coming into a place like this. Other than that, it's wide open all yeah. the time. Yeah. So 1963, the boat's in 1969, so. Mm -hmm. and so the boat is, you know. How how how's the motor then? 63. Oh. Very old. It'll be 60 years next year. Yeah. And we're running it like it just came out of the factory yesterday. So, yeah, we're just going to... No, this would be a nice place. So if you're going to do it, you have to do it soon. Why? The water will go down. You won't be able to get in here. Oh, I can get back here. Can you can? Yeah, we've been back here. Yeah, usually when the water's up there. It's pretty shallow in here. We can get back in. I can get back in here. I think we saw this before and we discussed that you should go here before. We did. We went past here a couple times. Yeah. But I can't really use the trawling motor because it's got a... One of the blades is broke off the prop, so that's kind of for emergencies or just like backing out of here. Because uh, usually we'll trawl. We we'll use the trawling motor and go way back in there. There's a lot of cool stuff back in there. So. All right, guys, I'll be back with you.
right guys, so we made it back. There's monkey. It's easier her it's easier for her to crawl through that hole than it is to get out of the boat on the dock for some reason, but it's easier for her to get out of the boat here because she can just step out on the land. There's no walkthrough here, but she's gonna go get the that she be in the trailer and then I'll back the trailer and load the boat and then she'll pull me out. So uh, I'll film that for you. I'm just going to wait here. Usually I, I take a trip around because she's got to go clear up here to turn around and then come back to come into the boat ramp. Or the, yeah, the boat area. So anyway, there was a bunk floating here earlier. Hope it wasn't ours. <laughs> or we won't be loading the boat. So, yeah, it's been a fun day. I'll show you how I load the boat and then uh, we'll go from there. Hey, so this should be interesting. The gas motor won't start. So, I gotta use the trolling motor with only two blades on it to try to load this thing up. <laughs> So this should be funny. Because this thing's not gonna have the power to push it up on like I need to. Okay, now I'm gonna go up front and I'm gonna winch it up a little bit. All right, wasn't as bad as I thought. It didn't get as close as I wanted. I had to have her pull up just a little bit so the back of the boat would go down because it was under where the hook hooks. I'll show you. This was down under here, so as soon as she pulled up, the back of the boat went down. That means the front of the boat went up, and it was fine. But, I mean, it's not like, hell, I could have just, if I had to, pulled the boat around with the rope, the 100-foot rope we got there and pulled it up to the trailer and winched it on. But So I was showing her, I was like, look, this thing won't start. One pull and it fired right up. I sat out there for five minutes trying to get that thing to run. So, weird. That's a mind of its own. <laughs> yeah, it's been run hard. We've run hard. We got a good jump today, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Was you filming it? Um, I didn't get the jump. No, I was holding on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it got us wet, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, I got We jumped wet. somebody's wake, and they seen me go wide and come straight, like, yeah. right behind them. They knew what I was going to do, and they were watching. It was like, yeah, woohoo! And I got to hold on to Bruno. <laughs> he loves it. He hops up and down. That was a pretty good jump. Yeah, it was. Really well, good. We, we hit a swell when it was coming back up. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. It runs good if it has full... Full blasting. Full blasting? Yeah. yeah. She means full throttle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it's wide open, yeah, yeah it runs great. If you want it, no, it, it's having problems. We was running right alongside that bass boat there for a minute. Yeah. If I was by myself, I think I could have pretty much kept up with him. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and if I didn't have issues. all the weight and yeah. issues. Yeah, it's not running... It's running fine. It's not missing or cutting out or anything wide open, but I don't think that's the right prop. But it's fine. At least we got out today. Like I said, I want to get a 25 horse. That way I can have electric start. Yeah, he needs it. And to lift that motor, because I got to lift that motor manually. It's too much. It's hard on them, especially when it's I mean, they got them 25 horsepower now that are lighter than that 18. Yeah. Yeah, so it wouldn't be putting much more weight on us. We usually carry three batteries in this thing, so we were skipping along pretty good today. We only got yeah. one battery in it. So, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth the Man of Legend. Gone for now, Monk. Like, fish it out. Check Bye. her channel out. She's got some footage, so. Yeah, I got some. Got some Harleys back here making a little racket. Yeah, they're having fun. Yeah. It's a great day to be out. Yeah, it is. Miss my bike.
ready for one. You're ready for one? They stopped and situated their bags. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care. Thank you.